Oh my gosh, am I live? Sometimes with these things, I can't tell if I'm live or I don't know, but hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, people are on already. That's crazy. What's up, everyone? Please come in, join the party. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> wow, people are coming. Hello, everybody. Hello. I love, I just love all like the emojis. I love seeing the hearts pop up. If y'all wanna just hype me up because I'm really nervous. Hi, Chunli. I love you. Hey, Luke. What's up? This is so cool. Okay, well, hello, everybody. Um, if you don't know, my name is Sabria. I was a past road warrior from this past school tour, spring uh, 2K20 school tour. Very cool stuff, very fun. Um, but now I'm back at home here on IG Live. Hello, hello. And yeah, um, so you're probably like, why am I here? What is she doing? You know, hello. Basically, today, first of all, today is Water Wednesday. Happy Water Wednesday. We love to celebrate Water Wednesday here at Thirst Project. And also, number two, it's Earth Day. Today is Earth Day. And I know, oh my goodness, I, hello everybody. I'm like, stop making me blush. But yeah, anyways, today is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody. I know it's like a very interesting time with COVID-19 and with physical distancing, self-quarantining. It's definitely an interesting time to celebrate Earth Day inside. But regardless, you know, just just take a pause, a quick little pause, and just enjoy the wonderful Earth that we live in today. It's it's really, like, it's a really nice day today. Well, I live in California. I don't know how the weather is anywhere else, but it's a really nice day today. But yeah, happy Earth Day, everybody. So I'm going to be that person. Got quite a few announcements to make. Number one. Um, if you don't know, we have been doing a, uh, a logo contest uh, with Thirst Project. So people have been submitting their logos and we've actually narrowed it down to the top three. Top three, right? We have three logos and in order to announce the winner, we actually need your help. So if you haven't been on our or haven't checked out our IG stories, we actually have all of the three logos in one of the IG stories. And then you can vote one, two or three, which one's your favorite. And we're going to close voting at 5 p.m. and announce the winner from there. So, yeah, that's one announcement. And also there's so many contests. It's so cool. Um, another contest we've been having, not even a contest, we actually have a giveaway. We've partnered with Menage Men's Skincare, which I can't relate. I don't have, you know, I don't, I can't relate. But, um, it's really cool, actually. So, we said we would announce the winner on this IG story. So, we need a little, a little, you know, drum roll. The winner for the Menage Men's Skincare giveaway is... Abrar.i and that is at a b r a r dot i. So congratulations, Abrar! You won the giveaway. So if you uh, if you're not watching this, you, oh, we'll probably post it on our IG story. Um, but feel free to DM us and get more information on how you can receive your free men's skincare, which is very very cool. Oh, thank you for all the drum rolls. But congratulations! So let's see. Let me think. Is there anything? <laughs> anything else okay um we actually have been like hyping this up you know we have a special guest uh that's gonna hop on and we're gonna oh thank you emily oh my gosh okay wait i get so distracted so easily anyways we have a, a special guest it's gonna like hop on i don't know let's see let's see let's see if they are here I'm not going to say who yet, but it's very exciting. I'm like, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to function after this. Um, but yeah, we have a special guest that's about to hop on. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait, let me see. Let me check something. Okay. Okay. Yes. Special guest is. I'm so excited! I'm so excited. Hello. Oh my gosh, Jonathan! Hi. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Oh Happy Earth gosh. Day. Like, 
Before we go any farther, this lighting is awful. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, people are going to snapshot this, this and this I can't vibe. have that. That's just, it makes me look older than dirt. Oh my God. That's, That's better. Going. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really good. Really? I, you know, I love a good quarantine, you know, just hanging out. How are you? I'm doing well. It's a very interesting time. But I'm glad just to be at home, to be safe. That's good. Can I just say, like, people are already commenting, like, your hair looks really good. I mean, I, guys, I, look, I know we're here to talk about Earth Gay Day, but Earth Gay, which is me. Um, but let's also talk about the fact that my hair looks amazing, Plat. Yeah. Like, is this not insanely cool? I love or it. The color cold? is so nice. Oh, my gosh. It's so good, right? It looks beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. I need to focus. Okay, anyways. So you agree. You think you're really pretty. Um, see, I can do Mean Girls puns all day, whatever you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, Jonathan, thank you so much for hopping on this IG Live. I just have to ask, what is your like involvement with Thirst Project? I know there was like a Mean Girls campaign and everything. Oh like, yeah, did get yeah, we did that. So, um. So, well, I, I got introduced to Thirst Project through Chrissy Lindquist, Ooh, Miss okay. One Chrissy Lindquist, if you know of this woman. Um, and she, we hosted the, the gala. And me yeah. and Miss, was it Missy Pyle? Yes, Missy Pyle. Yes, Missy Pyle ba basically badgered people to raise money. And we love Chrissy. We badgered people to raise money and we raised like a zillion dollars or something in that night. And wow. so then I got uh, involved and loved it and wanted to do more. So then a few days later it was October 3rd. And that's kind of a special day for me. Yeah, I don't know why. Because that's when I adopted my dog. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, because of Mean Girls, October 3rd. And so on October 3rd, all of the Mean Girls cast do something for good. Um, and we call it Mean Girls Do Good on October 3rd. So we figure out some something to do that, you know, better the world. And I thought, wait a minute, Katie was from Africa and they need to build wells in Africa. So why don't we build a well to celebrate National Mean Girls Day? So we did that, we raised the $8,000 on Instagram and like uh, basically all the fans were amazing and they pitched in and uh, now we have a well, a Mean Girls well. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's phenomenal. Maybe like that should be an every year thing. Have like a cool you know, yeah. day every year. We should. Yeah. We should have the gala on October 3rd and everyone wears pink. But just kidding. We're never doing anything again ever in the world, guys, because everyone has to stay home. <laughs> just kidding. Yes, yeah, stay home. Stay it's going to be a virtual gala. No, I don't want to watch it virtual. <laughs> have, like, let's be real really quick. Yeah. Zoom groups are awful. Oh, like everyone lag. thinks it's like, it'll be so fun. No, it's not. It's miserable. You're trying to talk. You can't hear what people are saying. The thing's jumping around. Like oh, yeah. everyone doesn't know when it's okay to talk. It's awkward. It's stupid. And I hate it. So I'm not going to sit here and play the game like, it's okay. We're together because we're on Zoom. No, it's <laughs> awful. They suck. No, Zoom is awful. I'm always, I mean, like, I enjoy the app. The app is good. I get what they're doing. And I get it for businesses when you need to do things. I understand. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't want to hang on. Every sorority has been DMing me saying, can we um, have you come on our sorority Zoom? And I was like, Wait. no. No, I'm not. That sounds awful. Like, <laughs> everyone's yelling and it's too much. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Zoom, you always have to mute yourself in order to talk. Yes, to it's so awkward, but I'm also a 1,000 years old. <laughs> so like, maybe the millennial kids or the Generation Z or X or T you or whatever. You look really good for 1,000 years old. I look amazing. Yeah, you look phenomenal. Just kidding. Um, so we're celebrating Earth Day, though. How fun yes. is that? Earth and Earth has water, and there's Thirst Project, and people have water. And yes. so look how it all comes together. Way to go, marketing team. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so in honor of like this Earth Day collaboration. Chrissy Lindquist is watching, by the way. Hi, Chrissy. Hello. Hello. Do you want to play a little game, a little trivia game? Yeah, I mean, let's play all the games. Let's go. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's see how, how well versed you are in this Thirst Project knowledge. Okay, there's going to yeah, be great. Probably going to win. Go oh, on. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. We got yeah, yeah, true great. or false. 
we have multiple choice and then we also have a single answer that you're going to yeah, have to answer. Okay, first, true or false? Thirst Project only works with young people. True or false? True. True? I don't know. False. <laughs> it's actually false. False. We actually work with everyone, although we like we work with a lot of students. Um, next, true or false? Thirst Project headquarters is in LA. Is that true or false? False. That's true. Oh, it's Chris. So it's kind of wherever Chrissy Lindquist is, I think. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, it's in LA with Seth. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We'll move we'll it to that. Okay, but is there really a place for Thirst Project? Because honestly, Thirst Project oh. lives in here. Oh. You know? I love that. I yeah, love trick that. question, Devin. <laughs> okay, next true or false? Over 600,000 people lack access to water. Is that true or false? Oh, that is true. That's true. Do you know the exact number? Or like yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think you know the exact number. I don't know. Can you tell me? Yeah, because it'd be crazy that you could actually count the number of people <laughs> in villages in Africa that don't have water. We can guesstimate, but I don't think there's an exact number. It's a very high number. What, by the it's time we're around, talking, what if someone had a baby? The number's wrong. It's around 663 million people, which is insane. And I can't even- Oh, have you're ballparking it there. I thought you wanted me to like give a number in the hundreds of thousands. I was like, no, that's impossible. Yes, 63 million people. Yeah, it's insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, next next true or false. Ready? Thirst Project is at least 10 years old. True or false? Absolutely not. It's seven years old. Wow. So far, you've gotten one out of four. That's that's I'm funny. really bad at math. <laughs> Go on. True. We started uh, in 2008. Okay, next one, next one. Very good. Project, I like it. <laughs> this project only works on the continent of Africa. Is that true or false? False. False. Yes. Do you know? Do you know any other places that we work? Um. No. We also work. I mean, I said them in the thing, but a little bit has happened since then, so I can't oh, really no, remember the countries. Yeah. Um, India, El Salvador. We worked in the Philippines. You Love know. that. Yeah. Okay. Last true or false question. Thirst project only builds wells. Is that true or false? No. No, do you know what else we will? Yep. <laughs> yeah, me too. We also Gallows. Uh pit latrines, biosand filters, also um hygiene kits as well, which is very cool. Okay, so that was first round. Ready for second round. This is multiple choice. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. How many young people have we worked with? Is it A five hundred thousand, B one million, or C two million? C. Yeah, good job. There we go. Oh my gosh, you know this. Okay, next one. How can I you literally just can't stop staring at how good this haircut looks. Go oh, on. Honestly, yeah, I know. Okay, <laughs> how can I fundraise for Thirst Project? A, plan a walk for water. B, sell old clothes. Or C, start an online fundraiser. <laughs> D, all of the above. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yeah, A plus is all around. Okay, next one. The average distance that someone in a developing community walks to fetch water is A, 2.75 miles, B, 3.75 miles, or C. Andrew, four. you're Whoa. a jerk. Leave. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. The average distance that someone in a developing community walks to fetch clean water or fetch water is 2.75 miles. B, 3.75 miles, or C, 4.75 miles? C. Point seven five miles, but yeah, good job. Okay, that's close. okay, that's okay. Okay, next one, um, or last multiple choice one. What is the average age of a Thirst Project student? We have A, 12, B, 17, or C, 21, eight, Oh, 17. Yeah, nice. Because 17 year olds do way better things than adults do. Yeah. Because you guys have hope. You guys um, haven't had life crush you yet, like oh, some 39 year olds do. Mm -hmm. And so then you meet the young kids and you're like, oh, that's right. Life is good. That's all, oh, that's right. Thank goodness. you for reminding me about that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. God. Okay. I remember like, my dreams, guys. Oh <laughs> but my you, you guys are like, you're talking like, yeah, you guys make us better people. 
being involved with young people who are doing things like this make you a better person. So it's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Okay. So one, I'm going to give you one single answer. What does the acronym WASH stand for? W-A-S-H. I don't think that's an acronym. I think it's just a word, honey. It, okay. Okay. It is a word. It's an acronym, too. <laughs> What's anyway, the acronym? No, it stands for water sanitation and hygiene. Water sanitation. And hygiene. Which it, it, I feel like the and should be before the water or before the sanitation. Right, but then it wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, which is very relevant for today because, you know, COVID-19. Oh, wash your hands. Say happy birthday. Yes. Okay. But anyways, good job on the trip. Thank you. Life. You did phenomenal. A plus. Oh, thank you so for, much. Yeah. Participation credits. <laughs> That's usually what I get. So <laughs> I'm just do it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But today's Earth Day. How are you celebrating Earth Day? We went to Costco. You went to, wait, Costco? Yeah. Because we were out of everything. So we, we like, we suit up, we put on the gloves, we go get groceries. Um, oh, my God. We do the whole thing. Come back I and then we don't leave the house for like two weeks. How, how is it out there? Is it like? I mean, it's intense. It's intense. People don't understand social distancing. Um, it's crazy. I'm like watching the people do it. And I'm like, you do not understand. And then you have all these people like, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, it's a hoax. And I'm like, you're an idiot. Like, it's just insane that some people out in grocery stores, like, just don't even like understand what's going on it blows my mind like much like thirst project like you know because we live in a bubble where in you know where we live is pretty much a bubble compared to a lot of people not knowing what's going on in other parts of the world like you talk to someone that lives maybe here in the states and they might not even understand the fact that well no someone in another country can't doesn't have clean water you know what i mean like they're just they're ignorant because they're not educated on it so it's hard because you're trying to educate an entire world population on social distancing and how to not spread the virus. At the same time, you know, it's mirrors what's going on with Thirst Project, like having to educate people that there are people that don't have access to clean water. And by having clean water and sanitation, you will literally save thousands of people's lives from one well. You know what yeah. I mean? It's such a simple thing. Mm -hmm. It's such a simple thing to do to save lives, just like social distancing and not coming close to me and covering your mouth with a mask is a simple thing to do to save lives. You know, both things make a huge difference. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane, especially what's going on. And Thirst Project, okay, maybe another tri trivia question. Do you know uh, specifically what country we work heavily with? Africa. <laughs> we, okay. We work, well, there's a place in, specifically in Africa that we work with. Uh, Uganda. Well, we, we have worked uh, in Uganda. You've got to be kidding me. Where else do you work? Eswatini. So, oh, that was my next guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, we are working with Eswatini's Ministry of Health to provide COVID, or to help to provide uh, funds, like relief funds, uh, due to COVID-19. So I'm just oh, going to cool. give a quick little, like, plug that, like, for anyone who's watching, anyone yep. who's watching this live, that, you know, if you want to raise funds, you want to spread awareness even, that makes a difference. Um, click the link oh, yeah. in our bio, click COVID-19, um, and just donate funds. Donate, like, guys. Do yeah. Donate, 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 donate. I know it's hard. And you know what? It's really hard. I mean, it's it's hard asking people for money. I work with a zillion different charities and I've raised millions of dollars over the past two decades on my own uh, using my celebrity for the greater good. And I've raised so much money over the years being involved in projects that raise a lot of money. And it's hard asking people for money. And especially right now, it's hard asking people for money in these times, right? I, I know a lot of people watching might not have their job right now. They might be furloughed. There might, there's a lot of stuff going on. So if you are able to donate, that would be amazing. And if not, that's okay too. Yeah. Just maybe spread, if you can't donate, maybe send a link or spread it out, spread the message to your friends, post it on your Instagram, post it on your Twitter, on your Facebook, your TikTok, your Snapchat, whatever it is the kids are doing these days. I don't care if you write it on your forehead and take a picture, but like spread the awareness 
Yeah. So that way, when people do have more money and are able to donate, it's top of their list and things that they can remember to do. So yeah. if you can donate, donate. And if not, that's okay. Just try to do something to help the cause by sharing this message. Yeah. 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 Especially like, I mean, like this, like, cause we're like, give us money. And they're like, I don't have a job and I have six kids right now and I'm not, I'm going to feed them, which yeah. I understand both are problems, but like, if you have it, grip it. And if not, do something to help. Yeah. Like even like people are saying like building awareness, like awareness like, is, it's Jeez. already like even like just knowing the idea of knowing already helps it's it it'll make a huge change mm -hmm. um, think, yeah especially in this like very unique time like i think the main thing that we could all do just in general to like you know kind of alleviate what what everything is going on uh with everything that's going on is to just you know like you know spread awareness uh be educated um stay at home you know stay safe you know take those extra precautionary measures to you know just like physical distancing, self-quarantining, um, all of these, um, you know, measures, you know, we it, like in order for all of this to, you know, end or to flatten the curve, we all really need to, you know, work together in order to make yep. a change. It's yeah. building awareness for, for building awareness for Thirst Project, mimic, you know, it mirrors building awareness for COVID-19 and what you should be doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all the, it all goes down the same channel of what has to happen but you know then you have like some states that are not doing social distancing as of friday and that's crazy and i'm sorry if you're in georgia stay home still please stay safe please <laughs> so you know just just stay away from people it's all you gotta do it's, you just gotta stay away from people and wipe your stuff down when you bring it home yeah and you're good so simple <sighs> okay um someone says like in like it inst now Jonathan, I challenge you and Jay to do a partner shoulder ride squat. What's that? I think you like, like, you know, someone's on your shoulders and you squat. No, I'm not. That sounds <laughs> awful. You do it. You oh do it. Ride squat. I'm like, old and tired. How are you staying like active and healthy? I'm not. It sucks. During I hate working time. out at home. Hate it. Work like all the people are like, I'm doing yoga and breathing and just working out. Shut up. No, you're not. <laughs> And like, shut up. You're not. Like, if you think doing a band workout is the same as going to the gym, okay, great. <laughs> but like, I'm not working out. I'm doing this challenge with my cousin. That's, uh, we had to do 3,000, uh, 5,000. I got 2,000 push-ups, 2,000 sit-ups, and 1,000 squats or something in seven days. And so today's my second day, so I'm going to do that. But other than that, no, I'm not doing yoga. I'm not stretching i'm not doing any of that stuff that everyone's like i'm gonna be a better me because yeah. it's all bull crap no one's actually no one's actually doing that like everyone's oh, like wants to put it on instagram because they want to be like i'm so great no you're not i'm watching netflix i'm watching trash tv and i'm eating cereal six times a day hey some that's better. being real guys being honest is being a better you being real is being a better ah. you that's being a better you good enough no <laughs> no all righty well oh okay. my gosh but everyone stay safe and yep. uh you know spread the awareness of the message i gotta go help um jonathan you're the king have jay carry you on his shoulders now i'm like you don't know me very well whoever this person is because i'm lazy no that sounds awful um so you guys thank you so much Go to Thirst Thank Project. You. I got to go help him because when we bring the stuff home from the store, we get out the Lysol and we sanitize everything. So he's down there wiping it off. So I'm going to go do that. But thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And on. if there is a gala, I can't wait to be there. Thank you so much. And we will talk to you later. Thank All you. All right. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay. All righty. Oh, my gosh. I need to calm down. Hold up. Wait. Whew. Jonathan Bennett, everyone, that's insane that he was able to hop on and be here. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of close off everything, um, recap everything. So my first announcement that I made, make sure you hop on our IG stories, vote for your favorite logo. We've narrowed it down to three. Um, voting is ending at 5 p.m. So get in your votes. Um, we also have, you know, one last thing is like, like, Jonathan and I were talking about that we are working with Eswatini's Ministry of Health to raise funds, um, especially due to COVID-19. So, you know, go 
uh, to the Thirst Project IG bio, click COVID-19, donate if you can, spread awareness if you can, but overall just be safe, be healthy, stay inside, and I love you all. Thank you so much for hopping on this IG Live. I truly, truly appreciate it. And yeah, happy Water Wednesday, happy Earth Day.